Hello everyone and welcome to the first trailer review for the New Catholic Generation Steubenville team. I am Joseph, as always. Uh, to my left here is my friend Keith, who is also on our video production team. Over to my far left there is Amy, uh, also known as April Grace. And to her left is Hunter, who is also Hi. on our video production team here. So we're all really excited for this. Uh, today we've come to review the trailer Breakthrough. Uh, we were contacted by some friends of ours from Carmel Communications. They also helped get us in touch with people to be able to review Paul the Apostle of Christ. I can only imagine. So we are extremely happy to be reviewing this trailer. Uh, the trailer is called, again, Breakthrough. Uh, first off, I guess I'd say, like, what are you guys looking forward to as far as this trailer goes? What do you already know about it? Um, so far i know nothing so i'm same. an open book ready to just take it in i mean that's yeah. the same for me yeah i don't know anything really about this movie uh but besides its name i expect it'll probably be exciting in some way i'm guessing maybe like a coming of age type thing with the name breakthrough but i don't really know rise and shine breakfast is ready in 10 minutes and don't make me come back up there. This is a century fox. It's a close-knit community. Good production. We have a place where everyone knows everyone. I must say, hey, the Lane girls. And we're always there for each other. What a I church. <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> That's, wow. Well, there's a basketball game. Yeah, I've oh. seen this guy hoop it up around here. This kid is so lit. <laughs> <laughs> Those Randy's stupid. Love you guys. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Good advice. We're training for the Olympics, sir! Cindy! Shoot. Oh. He's been underwater for more than 15 minutes. It's gonna be a recovery. I'm gonna rescue him. I got something. We got him! They've done everything medically possible. There's nothing more we can do. <laughs> Please, God. Sin, you're, you're scared to save my son. St. Charles boy who spent 15 minutes mm. trapped underwater uh, that's is continuing to fight for his Sorry, life. Sorry, I don't believe John will survive the night. You don't know my son. He is a fighter. So I need you to be the best for John, and you just let God do the rest. You are my pride and joy. I can't wait to see you shoot those baskets and run up and down the court again. The Smith family asked for one thing. Please pray for John. In the water that day, I was ready to give up, but then I hear this voice telling me, come back. You better run nuts. Or God's talking to you. But I don't believe in God. I believe, but maybe that only goes so far with something like this. I'm your pastor. I'm supposed to walk alongside you for as long as it takes. Did you see the Facebook page? It's gone viral. Call me. I hope he's gonna be okay. We're not gonna get through this alone. Whatever you have for me, for Brian, for John, I surrender. That was wow. intense. I was not expecting that after the whole, <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be lit. <laughs> suddenly, it went from lit and dabbing to, that was serious, that was deep. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so I guess, um, yeah, what are you guys' first impressions, I guess, going off of it? your first impressions? Um, that looks like it's going to be a really good movie, just saying. Like, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to see how many ways they, they bring out the title, because the first thing you think is, like, literally break through the ice. You're like, oh, mm -hmm. okay. So that's yeah. literally the, the inside incident. And then, like, what's the breakthrough in his recovery and, like, all of this stuff? Because we're, you know, you're pretty sure that he's going to survive, but, like, all the obstacles that just will unfold as you watch it. So you're like, what's going on here? What, you know, how does the situation get even more and more grave that mm -hmm. you can really come back with the breakthrough? But at the same time, maybe he won't recover. And, like, will it be about like the parents and that doctor being able to find faith through that so. or 
or maybe the yeah. person that pulled him out his conversion mm-hmm. yeah that was something like that there's 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 so much potential and i just feel the hope in the film and i'm really excited to see what exactly how it unfolds yeah um the first thing that i thought with the ice breaking was like oh yeah i know where the um the name's come coming from, from now yeah. mm-hmm. um but that was a really good point that you mentioned amy and i wonder about the um whether the the first responder the rescuer who appeared in the trailer if there's going to be like a breakthrough in his faith because you know he said i don't believe in god so it they were definitely bringing him in um and i think that he's going to play a pretty important role yeah and that's that's an interesting point you bring up because this is actually based on a true story Mm -hmm. it's supposedly happened about three to four years ago um but like with that i'd be interested to know if that is something that they kind of added as artistic license um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing in the situation, depending mm-hmm. on how they handle it. But I think it, for those of us who saw the third um, God's Not Dead movie, like they tried to apply the atheist in a different way, or tried to they did a better job than in the previous two movies of mm-hmm. like yeah. trying to uh, make it work as kind of like it should have. So I'd be interested to see, like, particularly his character, like, how that works out, like, what their plan is with it. Is it going to be something we've seen from other movies or something that a trend of just Christian movies in general are trying to do? Or, you know, what extra spin are they going to put on top of this? And with his his job as a first responder, the, the rest were, like, his job, everything that he's... Um, motivated by is serving, saving, and rescuing. And I wonder how, or if they'll incorporate that, like how how that aspect of saving matters to him, if that's going to be incorporated into his growth. Something I also liked was just getting a real sense of, of the community and seeing them rally around this family, um, which is a very good thing that a lot of non-denominal churches do well, um, or that's their aim to like build a community. You know, rally the people. These they build these huge churches, and just to have room to do things, um, but also to actually build relationships around the people that go there to mm-hmm. support each other. And I think that's a good reflection of like Christ bringing His people together um, to serve each other. Yeah, and um, going back to the trailer itself a little bit, I really liked. I thought this was a really well-made trailer, um, which is nice because sometimes you have a trailer where it feels like they kind of give away the whole story in yeah. the trailer mm-hmm. and you know that it's probably a good movie but you want it, it doesn't really make you feel like you need to go see it yeah. because you've already got pretty much every important part of the story just in the trailer and this one I think it did a good job getting close to that but not quite giving you everything yeah, definitely- showing you that there's a good chance of a happy ending but not not showing it to you to make you want to see it and see how the whole story happens. Yeah, because we don't know if there is. Happen. Exactly. We don't know if there is going to be a happy that's ending. True. And that's, that was definitely what they got in the trailer was, you see what happens, but you don't know the ending yet. Mm-hmm. Right. It was definitely a concern, I think, first watching this trailer when I did, I was like, oh, okay, like, I mean, this is what the story is. And they're kind of giving away, like, what happens. Uh, but then, like, I guess after he's supposedly looked like he's recovering, like he has a pulse again, it's still, like, unclear what's happening after that like Mm -hmm. uh, you know because in a story you have different parts and one of them is okay the trouble the the problem happens and people are reacting um and what happens from there like what comes to the arc of the story what comes like in the point in like the climax like what is that and that wasn't revealed see for some movies like say i don't know the avengers or star wars where you kind of already know the characters and everything you don't want to know what the plot's going to be because you want to be surprised yeah. but in a movie like this you need to have some sort of a preview to really make sure you get people who weren't going to watch it before to kind of want to watch it well, and really it had a good it. exactly so it had a pretty decent blend of that mm-hmm. uh, but kind of go, to go off of that i would say my next question would be is there anything that maybe you're concerned about going into this trailer any you know anything you're like oh okay like i saw this and you know, I'm not judging the movie because I haven't seen the movie, but just any general concerns you guys might have had seen. Um, I am interested to see if there's going to be like a testing of faith for the parents, because I feel like in these movies, sometimes they almost make the main character seem like their faith is so perfect that they're, 
untouchable. Mm -hmm. So I would like to see like maybe some doubt or something so that the people who do connect with that can see that there is a way out of that. So my last question is if you did not have to do this movie review, if you were just scrolling through YouTube, clicked on this, saw it, would the trailer make you want to go and see the movie? I think so. Because again, like definitely you can follow into that fall into that um, area where those trailers just seem too feel-goody, you mm -hmm. know? But this one seems very real, and that, that attracts me. So I think I would definitely go see it. Mm -hmm. I would definitely want to see it. Um, I'm weird about my movies lately in that, like, I'll watch a trailer and be like, that sounds great, I want to see it, but I won't be like, go see in theaters, or right away. But, I mean, that's just literally my life right now. <laughs> but I would see it. Yeah, I think I'd want to see it, too. Um, like Keith said, there are some trailers where you just, like, it, it feels a little bit forced or contrived, and it doesn't really make you want to see it. it like just... being force-fed sugar. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and I didn't get that in this trailer. I, I liked it from beginning to end. I thought that it did a really good job compelling me to want to see the story and to see all the parts that happen in between what you see in the trailer. Absolutely. And the actors seem very invested in their roles. Mm -hmm. Yes. Definitely. I think I was intrigued by this trailer. I think also, though, because I've seen a good amount of Christian movies that it's kind of been too idealistic, that I might be cautious going to see it. Um, even though, again, I do think it did a little bit of a better job mm -hmm. than, say, a lot of trailers or even other movies that I've seen. So I, I'd be a little bit cautious with it, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the trailer wasn't good. I do think the trailer was mm -hmm. good. I'd but agree. I'd be a little cautious just because of the countless movie reviews that I've been a part of in this channel. His experience has made him cynical <laughs> and no, skeptical no, no, and all of the above. No, Ned <laughs> has, has done all that. <laughs> dead. It was an experience, yes. to be What sure. have you done? You've corrupted our sweet, innocent Joseph. I miss you, Ned. <laughs> Um, with that, are there any final thoughts? I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. I, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Awesome. Yeah, me too. Awesome. Well, thank you everybody for watching. And when this movie comes out, we will be sure to review it. So stay posted and we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>